This week on The Spotlight, we talked to Michael Jordan. That's always a good thing. A great era, you know. And then we flash back to the Cubs winning something. That's noteworthy. We'll be in the neighborhood. And then, you know that man. He was Freddie. He was a clutch pitcher for the White Sox. And then that man wearing an Atlanta Braves clothing, but a great Cub. Check out my website, Benkowski.com, for my weekly article and up-to-the-minute trivia sites. From wherever Chicago sports teams are making news, it's the 25th year of the Sports Spotlight. Flowers for every imaginable occasion at Lansing Floral Shop. Call them at 708-474-1212. They deliver. You've got to get to the Cove because they have my trivia game. The next one's Wednesday, July 2nd at 8 p.m. Great people, great game. 1750 East 55th Street, right by the lake. Get to the Cove, play my trivia game. You'll be a happier person. Wax on, wax off, salon and spa. I'm getting my hair cut there. 312 226 1473, 1044 West Taylor. With a 30 year Southwest Side tradition, Huckfin is open 24 hours to serve you with great breakfasts like the Becky Thatcher, soups, great lunches, one third pound burgers, clubs, and much more. Dinners from seafood to steaks to pasta, great donuts, and ice creams. With three locations at Archer and Damon, 67th and Pulaski, and 105th and Cicero. Stop in today. You know Huck Finn is open. The T Wax Company, real estate investments, a chance for you to buy Chicagoland properties and have proffered opportunities since 1985. Call my friend Mr. Thomas at 773 456 3057. Make money. The T Wax Company. Lisa Davis, Insurance and Tax Services at 107th and Western, specializing in rollovers, tax recovery, tax resolution, auto, home, life, and business insurance. You can call them at 773-873-8977. They help me financially and they'll help you. Lisa Davis. you got to check out Mr. C's Midway Bar at 4654 West 63rd Street. You know, they're open till 2 a.m. every day. They got the best Bloody Marys, and I know I've had them. Great neighborhood prices, a fun place to be. Mr. C's Midway Bar, 4654 West 63rd Street. First, let's go back to a war that occurred here last Friday night. The Bulls against Utah. Michael Jordan prepared for the most intense game of the year by dusting broadcaster Johnny Red Kerr. And the luck was needed. Early on, Bill Cartwright with the impressive drive on Big Mark Eaton. And the Bulls were in the thick of it. But Jeff Malone, the outside gunner, excels in the Utah half-court offense. It was Jazz 25-23 after one quarter. And the fantastic play continued from the Jazz in the set offense. Stockton to the mountain man, Mark Eaton. It was 51-46 Jazz at the half. But more bad problems to come for the Bulls. Stockton to Carl Malone, the acrobatic move. Utah up by 16 points. And then the Bulls with a comeback. MJ flying and the foul. Bulls cut it to nine. They trail by seven after three quarters. In the fourth, Craig Hodges, you know him, two-time defending three-point champion, would come into play, hitting the outside two. Bulls down by only five points at this stretch. And then Horace Grant playing injured on the bad ankle. Watch him inside, battling for the rebound. A very important one. And yes, he scores. The free throw would follow, tying the game at 82, setting the stage for Scottie Pippen's heroics. After Scottie stole the ball away from Utah, he gets it also in the half court, kept outside, clock winding down. He's in three-point range. He's got to shoot in trouble. He makes it 87-84 Bulls. And then to put the capper on it, Michael Jordan, who can excel in any kind of defensive pressure, would steal the ball away, take it down all the way. Even though it doesn't drop, he hits the key free throws and sets the stage for Scotty's final shot. Oh, appropriate! The Scotty Pippen would finish the score. As it was Pippen's outburst in the latter part of the fourth quarter that led the Bulls to a run for victory. Trailing by 16 points late in the second half, the Bulls put on a tremendous burst, finally tying the game at 84 apiece, then 
Michael and Scotty put on the show, overcoming the very deliberate defensive style that the Jazz used so well. Terry Sloan and his magnificent defense, packed in with the beat of Mark Eaton and Carl Malone. I'm glad to be a part of it, you know, basically. Uh, it's a great achievement for the for the team and the organization, and I'm just had, I'm glad I was here to uh, help achieve it. Michael, if the uh, up-tempo is more fun for you, would, would a grind-out win be more rewarding since it's not your team's best style? Well, it's certainly rewarding. All wins are rewarding. I think uh, this was a, gr a, gr a grind-out type of win because we really couldn't get ourselves in a transitional game. And we had to use our athletic ability a little bit uh, in a grinding situation. And uh, But I think it, we're much more... Uh, uh, balance when we're in a transitional type of game than a half court game. Michael Means in the open court. I don't have to do all the work. Horace Grant, 12 points, 8 rebounds, banging the big beef, playing in pain. Of course, when you're playing the Giants like the uh, Eatons and the Malones inside, uh, what, what do you do? Do you alter your game? Do you just try to rely totally on quickness? Or, uh, I mean, what, what adjustments do you make? Well, uh, quickness, you know, not, not, don't ever think about taking it in on Morgan because, you know, he, he would never move. Uh, I think, you know, uh, the guys uh, really move the ball. And when you move yourself against a, a big front line like that, you know, good things happen. When we got down by, I think, 16 in the second half, uh, the crowd really got behind us and, and really gave us energy to, to get back in the game. So uh, it was fun. It was fun to, it's fun to win a game like that. It seems like this style of game is uh, kind of tailor-made for you because they, they're packing it in with all that big beef inside, and uh, Michael always seems to be looking to kick it back to you. Yeah, we got some, uh, we got some shots, and especially at the beginning of the second half, we, we got some good jump shots. We just didn't make them, and that, that uh, you know, they, they got the big lead on us. But uh, we played real hard. Michael got going in the end of the third and, and the fourth quarter, and uh, we played pretty good defensively. I think we, we held them to 16 points or something in the fourth quarter. Uh, they've been on the road a long time, and I'm sure that they, they were tired, but uh, that's, that's a real good effort for us. Yeah, I certainly enjoyed playing here over the years that I was here, and uh, great fans in Chicago. They've always been terrific fans, even when we first played our started off in the amphitheater. I thought the fans were terrific. We would not always had a full house like they do now, but I thought the fans were uh, sensational here. They're still carrying on. This is true, and certainly uh, when you guys came in and controlled the tempo early in this game, built up, I think, a lead of about 16 in the third quarter, things were looking your way. Uh, how did you just see the way the game developed after that point? Well, in that stretch, we had two or three possessions in that stretch where I thought we could have gone up maybe a couple more baskets, but we didn't. We weren't able to hold them, uh, weren't able to get it completed. And the other thing is we, I thought we really softened up defensively. Once they started to make a run at us, then I thought that they were able to take the ball to the basket, something we had to pretty much kept them from doing for a period of time. And then once they started getting the basket, we softened up again on the other end offensively and started to play a little bit of, uh, we played a little bit tentative. Time to get to Lindy's Gertie's at 110th and Kedzie in Chicago. Burgers, hot dogs, salads, chicken, steak, kids menu, and now the desserts with ice cream, shakes, floats, soft serve, everything you could imagine. At 110th and Kedzie, Lindy's Gerties. You've got to get to Lansing Floral Shop. Open at 8 a.m. daily. Besides a great array of live flowers, they have custom silks, Bridgewater candles. They want you to plan your parties early at a wide delivery area. They're located at 3420 Ridge Road in Lansing, or you can call 708-474-1212. Weddings, funerals, birthdays, anniversaries, and guys, try the No Reason Flower. Believe me, it works. Lansing Floral Shop. Give them a call, 708-474-1212. Cornelio's Mobile Auto Glass. They come to you. You call them at 773-908-6081. Lowest prices, new and used. Open Monday through Saturday, 9 a.m. to 6 p.m. They'll do your windshield, back window, or sides. They did a great job for me. They'll do a great job for you. And you'll be amazed at how quickly... They come in and finish it up. Cornelio's Mobile Auto Glass. Nuevo Leon, for the best Mexican cuisine since 1962. Serving every day from 7 a.m. to midnight. Conveniently located 1515 West 18th Street, just a block east of Ashland in Chicago. Of course, they have breakfast, lunch, and dinner, and a wide range of menu items. Everything from steak, seafood, to breakfast, to chicken, pork, Dine-in, carry-out, 
tacos enchiladas, everything you can imagine, and great quality in Nuevo Leon, 1515 West 18. Seen actually somewhat subdued by the incredible police presence. Uh, so many police on hand, not wanting it to get out of hand. Probably a wise thing. The fact that it's daytime probably keeps it a little better under control as well. But the fans are cheering in, they're cheering there, they're cheering on every corner. And you've seen the wedding scenes, people celebrating in different ways, the shirts being sold. A lot of excitement. Addison is sealed off. Clark is sealed off. But no seal off of the joy for the fans who waited so long. And really, on top of last year's playoff, the wait wasn't that long. The fact that they clinched with a week left in the season gives Lou Pinella a chance to rest people going into the playoffs. Cuts down some of the nervousness. And uh, basically sitting back to find out who they will play in round number one. Let's just soak up the moment. Let's go back in and soak up the moment. joy of the fans soon would turn sour as another playoff disappointment occurred.
With a 30-year Southwest Side tradition, Huck Finn is open 24 hours to serve you with great breakfasts like the Becky Thatcher, soups, great lunches, one-third pound burgers, clubs, and much more. Dinners from seafood to steaks to pasta, great donuts, and ice creams. With three locations at Archer and Damon, 67th and Pulaski, and 105th and Cicero, stop in today. You know Huck Finn is open. Go play at Red Shoes Billiards, 12009 South Pulaski in Austin, featuring 16 Brunswick Gold Crown pool tables, drop fluorescent lighting fixtures, and the fabulous rate of cloth. Call 708-388-3700. And now video gaming is available at Red Shoes from open till close. And don't forget, the Illinois Lottery 2. That's Red Shoe Billiards, 12009 South Pulaski. Little Frank's Pizzeria and Bar, easy to reach, 6353 West 79th Street. On Thursdays, Buck 50, Miller and Old Style. Trivia, alternate Thursdays at 8 p.m. They have $15 large pizza and pitcher all day, every day. Little Frank's on 79th. Perfect Pitch Auto Repair at 108th and Kedzie. Does tune-ups, transmission, AC service, engine repair, tire repair, oil changes, and emission system repair. They're open Monday through Friday from 8 a.m. to 6 p.m., and they've done a great job for me. Perfect Pitch Auto Repair at 108th and Kedzie. So much is going right for the White Sox in the first several weeks of the season. Uh, for much of the year, they've had the best record in baseball, and the pitching staff has certainly driven it, and specifically the starting pitching. As we hit the air in May, the White Sox lead the American League in innings pitched by starters. And so they've certainly kept the pressure off the bullpen and won. John Garland and Mark Burley have been a superb one-two punch, even though Garland's technically the fifth starter. But another guy who's coming around and may be flirting with 15, 17 wins is Freddy Garcia. As you know, he's kind of part of the Ozzie Guillen family, having married Guillen's niece. And so they have a natural, tight, wonderful bond from Venezuela. And Garcia certainly has pitched some great games for the Sox in 2005. We got a chance to catch up with him and talk to him about some recent performances and uh, where he's at so far this year. You know, I go there and pitch, you know. Last time I was, uh, we played in Oakland, and, you know, we got two or three guys, you know, that, they don't play that position on third base, third stop, but, you know, if you go there and pitch, you know, don't think, don't think about, you know, you got to feel good and, you know, support, you know, the guys behind you because they never play that position. So, you know, let it, you got to let it know, you know, you don't care and you go there and pitch, you know. If they hit it to those guys, you know, you how they, you know, catch the ball and, you know, make it out, that's all. Can't, you can't let it get in your head. What's, no, no. What's going on. I, was, I, was, I wasn't even thinking about it. Man. I got a couple, couple times I got in trouble and, you know, double play. That was not Uribe, that was uh, Greedy and uh, we, you know, made those, those plays. So, you know, that was good. Most of all, your defense has been better this year, though. Really? You know, this team, it's about, you know, defense and, you know, pitching. You know? That's, that's, that's what they do, you know, that Chicago South, they build this team to uh, go different and uh, pitching. And then, then, you know, last year, you know, sometimes, you know, you can throw and maybe one inning you got to throw 10 pitch, you, you, you know, you get down, throw 25, 30 pitch, you know, because, you know, maybe you see grand balls to play, you know, they don't, you know, get it down. This year it's different, you know. Maybe last year you felt pressure to get a strikeout in certain situations. Oh, yeah, yeah. You know. I might say I was looking for a strikeout a lot of people. Maybe this year that's why I don't, maybe I don't strike out many people. I throw right there, you know. Right to, you know, they hit the ball and, you know, things happen, you know. It's ball over play. Does this start, start by the team feel similar to the season in Seattle when you guys won so many games? Is there any similarities? You know, Seattle, man, you know, it's different because, you know, 
Sometimes we got a game last inning, we like come back. This thing, you know, we got a, every game close. You know, we don't hit, they don't hit, you know, we every time we play, it's like, you know, it's, well, it's about pitching right now. You know, it's not really about, you know, hitting, you know, it's, it's about pitching. You guys set a major league record for most consecutive games with the lead. You're always in front. That, that's good, right? you know. That's, you know, it's good, to, it's good to feel that way, you know. They score, we score first, you know, whatever. You know, that's good. You know, they, make, they make you get more comfortable and, you know, go there and, you know, try to keep the lead to, you know, win the game. How do you like working with AJ? No, so far it's been pretty good. You know, I, I never had any problem with anybody. I eat on the pasta twice just... Salerno's Restaurant and Pizzeria at Grand and Racine is the place to go before United Center Pavilion, Bulls, Hawks, Cubs and Sox too. Dine in or carry out with great family recipes, including homemade pastas, steaks, seafood, a great fun bar area. Meet people. Have a tremendous time at Salerno's Restaurant and Pizzeria, Grand and Racine. You'll find a great variety of foods for you to enjoy at Salerno's. Angel Perfect pitch auto repair at what 108th and Kedzie is great. Tune-ups, transmissions, AC service, engine repair, tire repair, oil changes. They're open Monday through Friday, 8 a.m. to 6 p.m. They do a great job for me, and they'll do a great job for you. They're quick, and they don't charge an arm and a leg. Perfect pitch auto repair, 108th and Kedzie. You've got to get to Shelton Fireworks, the world's largest warehouse, off Interstate 94, exit 22B in Porter, Indiana. Row after row of the best fireworks anywhere, from the little ones to the grand finales that'll end your show. Birthdays, anniversaries, graduations, in addition to the 4th of July, just get over there to Shelton Fireworks now. Then you can reload by the time summer comes. Shelton Fireworks, I-94, exit 22B in Portage. Reggie's is a great place with tons of music, interesting people and staff, great food and drink at 21st and State. And amongst the cool things they have, Benkowski Trivia. All shows are now Monday at 6 p.m. Reggie's, 21st and State, a fun place. Yeah, Chicago's great members. I love the weather here this weekend, too. Yeah, that's right. Uh, I, I think that we, we had a rugged start weather-wise, but we're, we're owed some good weather into November. Um, Tell us a little bit about uh, the championship feeling. You know, you and uh, Greg Maddox and Mike Bilecki all were key members of uh, the 1989 uh, Cubs Divisional Champions, but you guys have taken it a couple notches further where you're at now. Exactly. Um, last year, Maddox and I were sitting on the bench, and um, we were talking. We also had something else to come. Not only we came up with the Chicago Cubs organization, but we was... We picked in the same draft in 1984, so we actually been together a long time, played on the rookie team together, and um, I said, well, since we played on the rookie team together, we might as well try this world championship, Maddox, and we won, and it was a great feeling. Um, a lot of reporters try to make it look like we went to slamming up against Chicago, saying we left Chicago and won, but that wasn't the case at all. It was a case that being a kid is it's your long-time dream, and um, it's nothing that I thought thought of yet can describe the feeling I got when we ran over that field because as a kid you think that could never be me watching the World Series. <clears throat> That's somebody from orbit in the World Series. Reggie Jackson, that could never be me. And we won that thing and I got to win another one. That's just all I can say. It's just, it's just so sweet. It's, it's undescribable. Well, they say uh, the repeat is always the tough thing and certainly teams come at you in a different way. Some pretty good balance uh, in the National League this year. Uh, uh, talk about the difficult uh, road to number two. You're right. It's going to be difficult. Um, I see a lot of teams in the American League more so than anything um, beefing up. And um, But what I always tell the reporters, um, they can beef up because if we play somebody in the American League, that means we're in the big dance. We're in the show. Um, and also, I'll take our chances with the five aces we got now. We used to have four aces. We just add another ace to the deck. And um, I got to figure with those guys right there and the, and the stability we have on this team and then the injury players coming back, um, we're going to be okay. You know, that, that's a very interesting statement because what it tells you is you have a commitment to win uh, from ownership and management. Uh, they're not worried about price tag. They'll go out and get a key player. You know, to add the kind of pitcher that you did is, is quite a statement. Uh, in contrast, uh, you know, we hear grumblings on the Cubs side that they could have gone out and maybe made a harder pitch for a guy like that, that he would have been more important to them. I mean, you guys are in pretty good shape already. What, what about that contrast of management style? I mean, that, that you have to credit um, John Scherholz back in Atlanta. Um, 
If Chicago wanted him and they probably, I'm sure they needed him, as you can see, um, they should have went out and got him. Um, but I think that's been a problem over here for the last couple of years. Having them pack the park without major contenders or, or getting the right people to jail right in is, is a big problem right now in Chicago. And I mean, it's a major, major market. I mean, they should be able to do that for these people here. And nothing more than us winning the World Championship I'd rather see than the city of Chicago and these beautiful fans here enjoy what I've enjoyed last year in Atlanta. I mean, it's undescribable. And, um, like I said, there's only one place that can win a world championship that I think can overwhelm me personally, and that's in Chicago. Whether I be here or not, I mean, because these fans deserve it, man. They've, they've supported this ball club for years and years, and um, I've been here, and we're the last place, 500 ball club, and we couldn't get a seat in the house. Here we are in Atlanta right now, and um, 50 games over 500, and it'd be 20 and 30,000 seats open sometimes. So um, these fans deserve it here, and please, somebody in Chicago, help them bring a world championship back and bring me back with it. Well, there's quite a statement. It has been 88 years to be exact. Uh, it makes you wonder. Now, you touched on an interesting point, though. You say they draw, win or lose. In, in a strange way, that's almost the problem. They, they lack the motivation to fill the seats because the seats are already filled. Right, and from a business standpoint, I guess to a degree you can't blame them. I mean, they're going to look good on paper, but... Um You've looked good on paper long enough. Let's look good out on the field. Let's um, win a championship. Because when we was there in 1989, and I, I can recall coming back in on that airline on um, United and people all along the freeway coming up, and it was unbelievable. And the overwhelming response that you're going to get from a championship here is going to be unbelievable. So why not give the people what they deserve? They, they've given you success in a packed park for so many years. Let's give them a world championship here. But don't beat me doing that. <laughs> That's right. That's right. You got your own path. To wrap up, we, you know, you look at your career, and obviously, uh, you know, a as your bat goes, you go. And you know, there's talk that the DH rule is going to go one way or the other in the next uh, year or two. Um, personally, I'm a fan of the DH. Uh, you're a lifelong National Leaguer so far. Could you ever see yourself? Uh, uh, either going to the American League or, or wrapping up your career in that role? Of course I can. Um, like you said, uh, the, the pinch hitting role is very similar to that, but not as consistent in, in per game. But the, the pinch hit role is coming off the bench and hitting. That's basically what the DH does. And of course I can see that. Young in my career, no. But I'm getting a little older now, and I'm keeping myself in shape. And um, I kind of hope they bring it in both leagues so um, we can get rid of these pitches. They don't hit worth two cents anyway. <laughs> and that'll give me a little longevity in my career. I mean, I look how jeopardized and made Harold Baines and people like that career long which can't play a position because of their legs hurt but they can still hit the baseball and and like you said they've been labeling me so much that I can hit 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 so they'll give me a DH job some way and um and hopefully it's going to turn out for me and I hope everything work out for me it works out pretty good thus far anyway well uh, good luck and uh, good luck in the entertainment field in the offseason we we haven't heard you singing in a while would you like to close with uh, a favorite tune a little bit Serenade those Chicago fans? Well, I'm a little early in the morning. I'm going to wait a little longer, and I'm going to push it out on that album. But there again, um, when, they, when that song come out and those um, beautiful records come out, y'all go out and buy them in Chicago because I, I love this city. <laughs> Mr. Smith, thanks a lot. We'll see you in the playoffs. Okay, there you go. And we'll be back with more on the Spotlight right after these important messages. Don't go away. Playoffs. It seems so easy, doesn't it? This week's show has been brought to you by the Lansing Floral Shop. Call for your flowers at 708-474-1212. Huck Finn, a great wide-ranging menu, along with donuts and ice cream. Open 24 hours at Archer and Damon, 67th and Pulaski, and 105th and Cicero. Imprint Graphics, leaders in booklet, perfect bound saddle stitch. Very competitive pricing, 708-396-1010.